Hi, welcome. This is a video about Arclix D, how to install Arclix D. Now I have already made a video about it, but it's, it's a long video, it's a technical video. This is going to be a flash video. Very fast, what do I do when I want to install Arclix D and what's the fun in starting with Arclix D? The truck is passing by. We boot up, we see our beautiful app to welcome all Arc Linux users and also provide, of course, a lot of links, social media links, uh, Discord to get technical and just talk about Arc Linux and Telegram to have a casual chat about really anything. Arc Linux D is a minimal version, it's a bare version actually, it's, it's really the most minimal thing you can have. And our pop-up, our welcome app, is uh, divided into ma two major uh, parts. And of course here all the information and all the social media links. We are, as you see here, we are always changing our app and you'll see it gradually grow over time. What is relevant um, is first take a look at your system. How is your system? Do you have uh, Windows there? Are there multiple installations present? In my case, there's just one. And I always want to start with a clean slate. It doesn't matter what operating system I'm on. I will first clean everything and then start afresh. So that's done. And now I'm gonna start Calamaris and do our thing. Last video. Let's do this quickly for a reference in the future. Last video, what I did then was install XFCE, this one and that one, and suddenly I had an idea to also install Mate, but never the one, the packages from Arco Linux. Let's this time install something not desktop, well, not a full fledged desktop, but rather a tiling window manager. So these guys go off and then reading from the top to the bottom the top is and the hardware related and the more you go down the more it's gonna be software right this is depending on the machine you're on do you need Linux kernel do you need Nvidia etc so basically most often uh, most most of the people will start just here choosing what login manager do I like to have and yes indeed the fix is present here. You'll see in the other video. We can choose between different kind of presentations. I've um, shown LightM I think. Let's this time use GDM. So I've chosen a login manager. Next thing to choose is the desktop. What desktop do I like uh, to, to show, what to try, right? Now in case of the desktops, the, the tiling window managers, which is BSP WM, is a tiling window manager. In that case, it's not smart to say, I'm gonna skip all the Arch Linux things because these things are just the essence of the tiling window manager, the, the real, the real um, configuration files. Now I could probably do some stuff. So let's first activate everything. What I really, really gonna need are these guys. Not sure about this one, but we'll see. We can always install it later. But I think this will do the trick. This will give a functional uh, BSP WM. Now, since I like to install something more as well, let's do, for instance, i3 as well. Again, select everything and then start thinking what's in what, what does this package contain, right? The dconf, probably not necessary. Config i3, we'll see. But the configuration of i3, take a look at your cheat sheet. Remember that we have this cheat sheet on Arclinux. So get involved or any of these links, they go all to Arclinux info. Download, download documents also here on the site. We have the cheat sheet reference and you can download it. Maybe interesting to see how many people have done it already. 3,462 people 
have downloaded the cheat sheet. So it contains the information you need, what pieces of the puzzle, what Lego blocks do I need to build up an operating system, in this case i3. I'm gonna go for these four and let's open this one up as well. So the last two out and we'll see. All right, that's it. Well, we could uh, install more games and utilities and fonts and all that, but that's just a click away and you got it. This is the essential part, right? Next, we're living in Brussels. You can change these things. Next, SRT keyboard, uh, please, or s'il vous plaît. Erase disk, everything is gone. We should take no hibernate. Maybe with hibernate, you can encrypt it as well. It's gonna work, all of that is gonna work out of the box. No encryption, it takes a bit longer. I have to type in my password. So let's go for next. Arco Linux D. And these are my choices. For the longer video, the more explanation, you watch the other video. I'll put them together in the same article. How to install. Arch Linux D. So we're going to maybe pause. Sounds like a good idea. Control F is gonna going to go out of the full screen. I'm gonna pause and I'll be back in a second. And I'm back. Control F is going to go to full screen again. Restart now. Great. And we reboot. Since the ISO is still in there, in VirtualBox, I need to go down here and boot from the hard disk. The virtual hard disk. And then we are in, in a black screen. It's called the TTY. We type in our password. Well, no, first login, then password. NeoFetch greets us. A bit strange because we have uh, as number X8664. A bit strange. And then we say, let's activate whatever display manager we've chosen the system doesn't know that so sudo systemctl it's on our cheat sheet enable lightm if you've chosen lightm sddm if you have chosen sddm and lxdm if you've chosen that one or in my case gdm right with a tap, it just auto completes to service, but it's not required to put it there. And it says created symlink. It's important that it says created and not failed, for instance. If it fails, all you have to do is to remember to force it. That's it. And it gets overwritten, whatever is there. Now, this is a tiling winner manager. Normally, I would say, follow my advice type scale immediately and then reboot. I'm not gonna do that, make it my life a little bit easier, uh, more difficult I mean, but it's worth it if you log into i3 so you know what we've done to it. So scale it should be, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, just having some fun here, make it more complex than it's supposed to be. Okay, display manager kicks in ITM, SDDM, whatever you choose, this is the look for. Well, GNOME, yeah, that's the display manager that you normally have, GDM. You can select here, whatever you want to have. Even GNOME is in here, I see. Why? Ah, dependency of GDM. BSPWM is not going to show anything, I think. Let's first try R3 and see what happens. We boot up and this is how I started, I guess four or five years ago in i3. I said, what is this? We get a nice bar, so that's cool. And then you have to, you have not configured i3 yet. There is nothing. Do you want to generate a config? Enter. All right. What do you want to choose? You want to have Windows key as default modifier or old key? I said, okay, let's take Windows. And that's it. There I was in a black screen and couldn't figure out what to do next. Right mouse click, nothing helps. 
super F1, F2, control T's. Well, that's actually my control T for my real machine. Control T inside i3 doesn't do anything. Um, super enter, uh, super enter does something. And then luckily you are, you can type something, right? You can type in scale, for instance. Too bad I haven't tested BSPWM. Did not test it. So let's do the reboot. Let's get out again and boot up so that we can see what i3 looks like after a scale. And unfortunately, we can't see what BSP. Was it BSP I took? Let's see. So Eric has this one, yeah. So i3. And this is indeed our configuration. But you're missing, of course, a lot of icons. Wallpaper, we didn't install it. It's black, right? But super F2, F3, Control T, super shift enter. Uh, why would it work? Super shift enter is tunar. Pseudo Pacman minus S tunar. This is a bare ISO. You build it up, you be the Sherlock Holmes, you be the detective. See what you're missing. There it is. Icons. No, we've not really thought about icons, but um, there is a standard, right? We have a fallback icon theme. And it keeps on going like that. It keeps. It's a challenge and it's uh, going to be interesting for you, I think, to start with Arclinx D and then figure your way out how everything is built up, how we arrive at an Arclinx B version. So this is BSPWM, Ctrl T, Super Shift Enter is going to work. This is Tuner, of course, again. So, and then you start learning more and more about all these uh, well, pieces of the puzzle you're going to need. So. My choices were okay. You have a viable working um, desktop system, but of course, a lot of, of these things are missing. You know what, where to get them. Either you just start, uh, go ahead and install via Pacman or Yay, or of course, you can get them easily in with Arch Linux. 124 packages already to choose from. You want to have the wallpapers? I see the wallpapers there. Right, wallpapers, git. What's gonna happen? Simple, you'll have a wallpaper, <laughs> right? Super shift R, reload. Super, uh, let's X log out. So, log out. And then we have, yeah, well, this is not Lightium, otherwise, would have a nice, beautiful wallpaper. But no, this is GDM, so nothing to see here. And now we have to think about the wallpapers. Oh, how is the wallpaper set? Um, did I forget something? It really is a Sherlock Holmes detective. Please be my guest. Have fun, learn a lot and enjoy yourself. All right, cheers.